What's up guys, welcome to my very first cooking video. This is Cooking with Cletus. Wow. Tell us about this recipe that you have. Okay. Uh, I was making quesadillas and I got bored of it. So I made quesadillas and put bacon in it. And then I loved it. And then I put maple syrup on it and then I loved it even more and then I put eggs in it to make breakfast tacos so it's the ultimate breakfast taco so how, what do you do how do you get started so this is a mess okay first you want to cook your eggs I already had it cooked because of reasons um, uh, Gordon Ramsay has a, has a special recipe for making uh, the fluffiest scrambled eggs you've ever had in your life it's amazing it takes a, a little bit longer than making regular eggs, but it's definitely worth it because uh, I'm looking for a fluffy texture, not a dry uh, uh, egg texture. So you prep with, before you start, you put butter on one side. It's, you can never have too much butter, said every fat person ever. If you want to make your stuff extra salty, uh, or if you want to add some pizzazz to it, you can, on top of the butter, you can put like Creole, Tony Sasseri's Creole on there. Just a little bit, because it can be overpowering. Or you can put cayenne pepper, you can put stuff on there, because what'll happen is, is that's the side that you're gonna, you're gonna grill, uh, that you're gonna put on the skillet. And what it does is it makes the, 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 the spices blend with the butter and makes it crunchy, so you have like this this cool film of uh, whatever spice that you want to put on there. So while you're doing it, you put on your bacon. I like to have the pan a little bit too hot, so it makes the outside crunchy, but the inside is still chewy. Because I like crunchy bacon, but I don't like burnt bacon. So, pro tip. If you can at all possible, you want to get block cheese instead of string cheese. Now, string cheese is a lot easier and it takes a little bit of more effort, but if you can go the extra mile, do it. Because shredded cheese, what they do is they put a film on there to keep it from coagulating inside the bag, and you can taste that. It actually takes away from the flavor. So if you can shred cheese as much as you can, then do that instead. Okay, the thing I like to do with my quesadillas is I like to take the shredded cheese and put a little bit on the side that I, that I bake. Just a tiny little bit, just to decorate it. Because what it does is it burns the cheese, makes it crunchy, almost like a potato chip. And that way, you don't have to burn your quesadilla to get a crunch. Ooh, that's good. Put cheese on one side, and you... Now as you're doing that, you put a whole bunch of cheese on the other side. Because that by the time that the other side is cooked, ready to go, your cheese will be melted and you'll have a quesadilla. If this were just a quesadilla, that would be into that. But we're not making a quesadilla, we're making a breakfast taco. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you want the bacon crunchy or do you want it? I want both. And the way that you do that is you make it a little bit too hot. So you sort of burn the ends of the edges of the bacon, but you cook just perfectly the inside. You know when it's done, whenever you fold it, it, it cracks as you the cheese starts to crack as you fold it, so it keeps a shape. And that's when you know it's it's ready to go. Tell me about the condiments that you put in the eggs and how you go about that. Well, first thing, when you season it, a lot of people make the mistake of seasoning the egg before it's cooked a little bit. The reason why that's a mistake is because when you put salt in there, it breaks down the egg before it's cooked, and then you'll have a dry egg, and you don't want that. Use you let it cook a little bit, and then you put uh, salt and pepper, a must-have. Sometimes I do garlic powder, 
It's uh, not necessary, but I like the extra flavor. And an aromatic to make it smell nice. That's what I like. You chose oregano what? Because I like the smell. And also the flavor is pretty good too. Okay. Put the cheese on the outside like that. What it does is it holds its shape. See how it sticks like that? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Dude, this is going to be so good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of the egg. I'm going to dump it in there. Don't put too much because uh, you can always make more quesadillas. And then you take your bacon, put however you want in there. And then any kind of maple syrup of your choice. Because maple syrup and bacon are two amazing things to go together. And you don't want to put too much, just a little bit, like that much. That's fine. And then the secret sauce that brings it all together. Now this is not a paid promotion for Whataburger, but they do make some killer sauce. So uh, the creamy pepper is really good, but you also have the choice of using the jalapeno ranch. We'll fold that together like so. Oh, look at all the cheese. So good. So good. Mm. So yeah, that's how you do it. This has been a how do you burn bacon tutorial. Just kidding. <laughs> how do you get diabetes in an hour? <laughs> Tune in next time for another recipe and another cooking session. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Did you get that? This is the walk of shame. <laughs> You should have recorded her doing that and then blurred out her face. I would. Good.